Hi guys, I'm April. Welcome back to my DIY channel. In today's video, we're gonna be making a tile table that went viral on TikTok. I'm sure you've seen it. This process was so therapeutic, but I ran into a couple of problems because that was like my first time tiling the anything pretty much. Yeah, so I wasn't sure what I'm doing, but I've learned so much and I cannot wait to share with you so you can actually make something like this at home and uh, yeah, and avoid all the problems that I had. To make this project, I used this IKEA lag side table. And of course, where do you think I found it? On Facebook Marketplace. Because what's the point to buy it new if you're gonna redo it anyway? IKEA lag side table is just perfect for this because it has this perfect two inch uh, feet. It has the uh, two inch edge. And uh, yeah, overall the dimensions just like fit perfectly for two by two inch tiles. You also need tile adhesive, grout, adhesive spreader, old credit card and a sponge. This tile is a matte finish, but if you want to make your life easier, I would probably choose a glossier finish because it's going to be so much easier to wipe the grout off, but this one is also doable and we can work with it, I promise you. You need to position the tiles on the tabletop to see how you would like to lay them out. I had two tile sheets that were perfect on the top and two that I had to fold to the side. I've seen people cut the tile to the side, but I don't see a real point in it. Uh, either way, it will be the same gap on the edge. So does it really matter? I don't think so. Wipe your table with a wet cloth to make sure it's clean. Then take the adhesive spreader and put the adhesive on the tabletop. Choose the spreader that has a V notch. So a few things to mention about the process. You should be very generous with the adhesive so the tile will stick, but not too generous so it comes out of the spaces in between and messes up the whole thing. I feel it's kind of more of a trial and error and um, everyone should find the perfect amount of adhesive for themselves. I'd say apply a one eighth of an inch and spread it super evenly. That's very, very important because you can see that my first tile got so messy and I had to clean out the adhesive for quite some time. So if you want to save time, just like do it right from the beginning, probably less is more in this case. So yeah, so you need to put the tile down on the tabletop and gently, but at the same time, firmly press the tile to the adhesive. So if you actually end up putting too much adhesive uh, and comes out from the gaps, wipe it off right away because I didn't uh, wipe it off right away and I thought I can do it later. And it, when it hardened, it was just so much harder to take off. So yeah, save yourself some time, wipe it off. Try to use something that doesn't have too many like little parts, like a paper towel, for example, because when I was using paper towel, uh, it was coming off and leaving all these like small parts behind. So use a cloth that doesn't have too many fibers. When you get to the edges of the table, just it's also very simple. Just press the tile sheet on the side and hold it for a few seconds. Then I'd recommend to move to the sides and tile the sides. I actually started tiling legs first, but if you tile the edge before the legs, you'll have a smaller gap between the edge and the leg. You can cut the strips from the tile sheet with scissors and uh, apply it at all the edges. Tiling the tabletop is relatively easy to put together, but all the fun started when I started tiling the legs. The great thing about it is that you need exactly one sheet of um, tiles to wrap around the leg. And then you need to add eight small tiles on the bottom. Uh, the sheet with tiles was unwrapping and didn't want to stick together. So I had to use the masking tape for this. This thing started like coming off because it's not horizontal. So I taped it and hopefully this is gonna hold it. Yeah, so far it looks so messy, but I really believe that it's gonna look amazing in the end. Okay, so it's been 24 hours and you see, it's actually so strong, so it's attached. That's good news. So I'm gonna take off this, uh, this blue tape. I think it actually worked great. Yeah! The legs are perfectly attached. After some time, when the table is already dry, so remember that this adhesive, I kind of like messed it up a little bit and it's all over the tile. So get to get rid of it, you can use just like a rubbing alcohol. It's like a 70% rubbing alcohol and a cloth, but the cloth makes sure that it doesn't have like a little parts in it because otherwise it's just gonna stay. So my tile is actually very, very textured and uh, I kind of feel that if you get the glossy tile, you're not gonna have that big of a problem with the adhesive because it's probably just gonna wipe off like right away. But anyways, we have a lot of work to do because <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like all over the place. And when I'm gonna be done with that, I'm gonna cover all the small parts with the grout that I got. Yes! Exciting! Yes. 
so what I decided to do, I'm actually gonna skip this step for now and um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the grout between the tiles because I'm kind of worried that you know, like when I'm gonna put the grout, it's still gonna be staying on top of the tiles and I would have to do this thing twice. And uh, yes, obviously, I don't wanna do the thing twice. Okay, I have a visitor. Maybe the grout gonna wait then for a second. There's a lot of different types of grouts, but we're gonna be using the cemented grout and there's like some of the kinds, ascended and unscented. I'll be honest with you, I had no idea there were like different types of grouts, but here we are. I clearly got the scented version, which has little parts of sand. It's a bit rough to the touch. Unscented grout is supposed to be smoother and as a result not scratching the tile too much. To apply the grout, take an old credit card and start wiping it to the gaps between the tiles. There's actually a special tool for it exists, but I didn't have it on hand, so old credit card worked perfectly fine. The same way as uh, when you put the adhesive on, you'll soon figure out for yourself how to apply it the best. I found if you spread the grout on the edge of the credit card and kind of shovel it in beside the gap, that was like the golden move. When there's enough grout, wipe off the excess with a damp sponge. Rinse the sponge before going to the next section and make sure that the water is super clean because if water is not clean, it's just gonna mess the whole thing up. And uh, yeah, don't expect it to be all gone after the first wipe. It's probably gonna take you a few swipes and then you're still gonna end up with a, a bit of a dirty tabletop. For the corners, you can also use your fingers or the same old credit card and make sure that you apply the grout close to the tile. I didn't like how it looked a bit dipped and then I had to apply another layer to square it out. And that's when I thought that my job is done and then I can just leave it on and wipe it off the excess when uh, it's completely dry, but that was not so easy. When I came back on the next morning, I saw that the tile was so dirty. You see? all this white residue and this is how it was before damn it okay so here's the thing <laughs> i woke up in the morning and um i tried to wipe this tiles you know like the grout that was left on the tiles you know like with a lot of different things i tried the rabbit alcohol i tried the um olive oil and i also tried vinegar but nothing worked i mean can you believe this so <laughs> i think i have to go and get some special uh, liquid and guess what right after I realized like that I made a mistake I went to the website and I looked at the tile to see what was the instructions how to apply it and you're gonna laugh right now Check this out polished and honed porcelain tiles require use of an impregnating or penetrating sealer prior to grouting Otherwise grout release must be used Yeah, so this is the grout release that I'm gonna go and get now because I was supposed to seal it before I use any grout. Really thought that it's gonna be such an easy project, but turns out that <laughs> it's much more complicated. And uh, yeah, this is the lesson to learn. Always read instructions before you start applying anything, pretty much. So I just like went to the store and I got this grout haze remover. So now, fingers crossed, it's gonna work. Um, let's see. Um. Well, 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 I can't really say that it's working. Three hours later. Oh my god, guys, for a second I already thought that uh, this is not fixable because I could not remove it with this haze remover, like the, the grout haze. But do you know what came to the rescue? Good old magic eraser! Like the sponge. Oh my god, it just does magic. Check it out. Wow. Do you see the difference? So cool. So check it out. Everything else, it's like I tried the... All of that. <laughs> you see what kind of mess I did? But I basically tried it all, but nothing worked. And only this thing worked. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna get to work. And this DIY tile table is ready. And oh my god, it looks 
so amazing. I absolutely love it. I mean, probably one of my favorite projects today. It took me longer than I thought it would, but I've learned so many important lessons about how to tile and maybe now I'm ready to actually tile a regular wall. But yeah, I would not jump ship <laughs> that fast. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you're new here and uh, I'll see you next week. Bye!